What is up guys welcome to another video that geeky guy here and today we're gonna be looking at our katsu deck and our matchup against azaleas so azalea you might already know recently just won a min max chicago brawl um being two azaleas gone into uh top eight and uh, I, I believe brody won the um brawl by uh, playing Azealia really really well so the thing is uh, Katsu is really weak against Azealia due to a few reasons so let's uh, search for some cards here so we're gonna need some Azealia cards so you guys can know what I mean so there's a few issues with Azealia um, when you're playing against Katsu but first of all is a rate in the ledger so uh, previously Azealia's um, damage ceiling over you say isn't really that high but now with all these uh, different buffs such as a uh, list with inertia and so on so for example let's see uh, some of the new cards from outsider for example we have list with blood rod frailty inertia and then combining them with uh, more buffs such as rain razor and stuff it becomes really really painful especially with azalea's ability to give dominance so katsu uh, really struggles to block um, so it's no surprise there. So how should we actually go and handle this? So first things first, we must understand uh, when we look uh, in uh, the um, the cards that um, Azalea runs, such as Red in the Ledger, and then we have cards such as Remorseless. Um, Remorseless. These are cards that really punishes you to go wide. And Katsu really wants to go wide. So these are some of the cards that actually disable that ability. So how do we handle this? So there's a few things you can do. One of it is to play um, cards that are... Let me just go into my Katsu deck so we can take a look. So we want to play cards that um, is uh, a bit more tall. So for example of this, uh, you can see Command and Conquer. If you guys watched my previous uh, deck tech video for cards, so you're gonna see three Command and Conquers in your sideboard. So you're gonna you're gonna want to have to put it in the um, deck when you're going against Azilia, and you want to remove cards such as Double Strike out of the deck because once you get hit by Remorseless or card, um, arrows like Red in the Ledger, uh, cards that has a bunch of gold gain with really little damage doesn't really help much. So. Um, so you want to put in really tall attacks. So surging is going to be left in there because Azilia don't really give you frostbite. So paying out the cost isn't really an issue, but rather having enough damage to threaten, uh, to actually bring down some of their life. So you want to play a bit of a tempo game with Azilia, but um, I'm not going to be lying to you and saying it's going to be easy. It's going to be really hard for Katsu. It's a favorable towards Azilia, definitely. So uh, there's a few things you can do. First things is to put in uh, cards that help with uh, disrupting the arsenal and uh, being a bit more tall in the damage. Depending on how the meta shift, maybe Katsu will have more um, six damage cards in his deck, and then cards such as E Strike might help by going uh, choosing the buff, and then it's gonna uh, E Strike is gonna come in for seven, or you can choose E Strike for five go again. So currently, Mode's Katsu is running Breeze Rider Boots. So that is good. That's another piece of armor that helps you with blocking. So another piece of advice, use your armor uh, effectively. So against Azalea, you're not going to really be able to block her uh, arrows uh, fully. So if you can't do that, might as well save your armor for a uh, later time. Um, so you want to keep your armor and then wait for a uh, opportune time or when you're really low on health and those crucial times where you really have to use the armor then you might use it so i would advise against putting cards such as out of war and such because then they don't uh, they don't really help you to block and then put in cards like seen below also you want to reduce the number of razor reflexes you run in the deck uh, a few things because it blocks for two also it gives go again but um it, it doesn't really uh, run well when you are drawing into your CNC. So you can play one copy, I think, but not really more than that. And then another thing to note is um, moving forward, you might want to have more blues that block for three in a Katsu deck. So cards like Lunging Press might be replaced and then blue be like water might not be a good idea. 
Um, so instead, you want to have more uh, cards that block so trees, such as well. In Gust Wave, a lot of Vin. Dishonor is definitely a good uh, card to discard away by blocking and then rising me and such. So Flick Flags and Sing Below is going to be your friend. So make sure uh, there is at least one in your arsenal um, to help you with those dominated attacks. So let me just give you guys a quick refresher on um, Azelia's ability. Uh, so it says you can put a card uh, from the arsenal to the bottom of the deck. Basically, and uh, if it's an arrow card, reveal it gains dominant under after turn. So these are the cards that really kill off uh, most of the heroes. So Azilias usually use this as a finisher move. So there's a match where I play against Azilia where I ended up pushing her to one health, but she killed me when I was on four by doing a dominated endless arrow, and I couldn't um, block. Uh, that uh, that endless arrow due to the fact that I do not have defense reaction in my hand and my arsenal was empty and it was also my fault because I didn't actually use my arsenal um, arsenal defense reaction effectively however defense reaction is one of the ways to help you uh, but it's not really always effective because uh, there are um, certain cards such as uh, release the tension which actually reads that um, a defense reaction can't be playing from Arsenal, this chain link. So there's another Azilia card that um, your opponent might use. But um, I'm not sure if they're going to use this against um, Katsus because usually uh, Azilias run this to deal with um, control decks such as Ohan. So that's basically it guys, um, those are some of the tips I can give, uh, hopefully your matches against Azilia is gonna go better after this. So uh, recently I've just tried a version 3 of my deck, which I'm gonna publish a deck tag uh, very soon, but I'm still in the midst of testing, let me just share you guys with the result. So I just had a win against Azilia, but it was really close, um, I lost against Bravo, so there are still more matches to be played, so currently I only played like 14 matches, which is not enough as a sample size um, previously before i released my deck tag i played about 55 matches in my first version of the deck now in 70 so that's a more reasonable um, stat um, so now we are on 14 matches so that's pretty much it guys so don't actually follow this um, blindly because there are still a lot of changes to be made um, a lot of testing and stuff um, yeah do look forward for my um, upcoming deck tech video and see you guys in the next one. Hope you guys like, subscribe and support me on Patreon if you want. And that's pretty much it. Bye.